well, it's been a few days um, since we laid down this fine red paint. Uh, had a few sick days, caught the damn Rona. So I haven't done much last few, you know, three, four days anyways. And uh, I'll probably, a video behind or something like that's just kind of the way she goes. Anyway, the paint's good, hardened up nice. I had no issues actually, uh, <clears throat> even though I mixed it a little bit wrong, this is 220. But uh, it sands up, no big deal, brings her down and it uh, doesn't gulp paper, the paper or nothing like that too bad, so I'm happy with it. Um, I guess my a little bit extra hardener seemed to work out, I fluked it. Learned a lot about painting this, so yeah. I'm gonna be taking her easy for the next couple of days, so hopefully we can get this kind of video done, but uh, we gotta get the rest of the body work kinda dialed together, um, all the little spots I had filled in. I'd like to get that finished on this video and uh, maybe set up and then paint on the next one is my plan. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole lot on the inside or just kind of leave it uh, for now uh, when it comes to like wet sanding and, and all that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's together. It looks good. I'm happy with it. Uh, on the outside, I think using a finer tip on the uh, gun will be pretty key to making it all work, a 1-4 tip. And I think I put the paint on a little too heavy to start. I think next time, a lot of you guys said in the comments, I was talking to other people, kind of put like a medium coat on and then do two or three kind of heavier coats. And even if there's a little bit of orange peel and stuff like that, we can polish and wet sand and do whatever we got to do. So we'll get prepared up to, uh, well, block all these, uh, the rest of it down to probably, I don't know, 320 or 400. We'll see how motivated I am. And uh, yeah, I'd like to get some paint in this thing. All right, let's get after blocking. Now, a few people in the comments the last couple of videos have been judging me by the size of my block. You know, now I thought, it's 2022, are we really judging people on stuff like that? No, obviously, hey, there's right and wrong ways to do this. If you're watching this as an educational show, maybe dial it back to entertainment. So we got every block we could ever need and stuff like that. Here's, here's the way I want to do it. Just because it's working for me, I'm going to get this car in the road as soon as possible. And for me, I'd rather enjoy it as is, quicker, and all that. Now, that being said, I was thinking about these blocks. I was thinking, you know what? Okay, so I was using a short block. That was wrong. We got a medium. We got a long block. Well, longer must be better. So, I got the DD Speed Shop patent pending, eight foot genuine Manitoba pine. Now, I think what I'm going to do on this is we're gonna go ahead and hot glue on a little 220, a little 320, a little 400, and we'll go right out to uh, maybe five or 600 in the back. Now, as I do this, I can just run the whole block down and it'll slowly but surely finish itself. So by the time I'm to the front of the car, it's ready for fricking paint. There's right and wrong ways to do stuff. Getting the car done is what I wanna do. So. Take it with a grain of salt, build a hot rod, drive a hot rod, enjoy the hot rod. Okay, on this section of Dan Butcher's bodywork, I'll show you what I'm doing now. We're gonna use a small block. I know, a small block again, right? So I got uh, 180 on this. So what I'm gonna use this for, is I just wanna knock off a little bit of filler that uh, I had put on just on like the pinholes. Now, Bear in mind, this is just gonna go scrape or something like that. We're not trying to flatten this out <clears throat> at this point. We're just filling in a little hole or a crack or something like that. So, kinda wanna get it off here real quick. Probably creating a divot and screwing it all up, but hey, that's the way it's gonna go now. Once we got kind of the gist of it off, we'll take the long board with 220 on it. And we'll hit it back and forth. <clears throat> And this will, oh man, my voice here. We'll kind of flatten her all out. We have a divot out of it. Something happened there. And we're basically good. And I'll do the rest of the tender. Same thing, whatever we got to do around here. We'll get it all taken care of. So that's essentially what I've done uh, to the door and the quarter already. Man, my arms are sore here. But, uh, I'll, I gotta do the rest of the fender, the hood, the whole other side. So that's uh, that's the plan. We'll get that all taken care of. So the whole car will be 
blocked and as good as it's going to be in uh, 220 and I'll come back with a little bit of guide coat I'll show you what I'm going to do for there I'm not going to actually use the guide coat I guess how they properly use it for highs and lows I'm more or less going to put it on just so I know what I've touched and what I haven't because I find my my young eyes I'll sand it with uh, you know the 220 and I can't really tell the difference between 220 and 320 or whatever and I don't want to miss any spots because you'll find it once there's paint on the car if we ever get to that stage. So, <sighs> sanding. Uh, I don't know, quick fast forward. We've uh, got the thing mostly blocked, I think. I got almost all of it. I gotta just go over the red. We got all back here, deck lid's all taken care of. So we're not ready for the next level, which is gonna be 320. And actually I gotta get my guide coat. Ooh, man, it's bright out here. Um, oh, I actually, I took a break. I picked something up here. This is pretty cool. So I bought this off Marketplace. The guy had built this is like an air dryer, so it's all three quarter copper, bazillion valves all over it, and he gave me all the stuff. Um, he had his whole garage down there's hangers. He had a proper like, hydraulic line made to hook it all up. All these little, little standoffs and all sorts of junk. So I got that for hundred bucks. There's got to be hundred bucks worth of valves and copper. Easy. So I don't know how much I'll use. Uh, might just be kind of temporary. Hook this section up for right now and then kind of go from there. So I don't know what I want to do for air and I really don't need it on every wall. All I do is some body work and stuff like that. Uh, this is what I had, a little, little guide coat. So yeah, I don't know, you'll do a little video on that or something, we'll figure it out. Anyways, I'll see you next door and I'll show you how we're gonna use this. All right, so the door's in 220-ish uh, and on the board I have some 320. I might go 400, but I, I think this is where I'm probably gonna leave it so what we're going to use is this guide coat now the idea of guide coat is you put it on there and it'll show your highs and lows and stuff like that ultimately for me i want to use it because i want to make sure i get the entire panel so to guide coat it real quick and then it's basically just kind of a kind of like a mist you're going to put on here kind of a light touch i might be putting a little bit spots like that are bad but whatever so anyways you got this on there now the whole door is kind of taken care of, and as it dries, which it should dry pretty, pretty quick. So we're gonna sand it off. And when you sand it off, there's no guide coat, you know you've accomplished and taken a little bit of material off and essentially hopefully taken down that next level of scratches we're trying to kind of get away from. So as you can see, it's kind of all gonna come off pretty quick pretty easy and then we'll know that the where there's no guide coat is for sure in 320 and then i might hit it again just with some 400 like i said just to be the real nitty gritty but now that's needs a little bit more still a little bit there but pretty much ready for paint honestly pretty straight i think straight enough that's what we're going for good enough so i'm going to carry on how much more time lapse than I want to do on oh, throw that around on uh, blocking out. Okay, it's boring. I'm not gonna lie. I'm doing bits at a time, and I'm just taking breaks because my brain can't take this. So I'll get it kind of taken care of. Maybe bring it back in a little bit, and we'll uh, we'll see where we're at. While well, I've been sanding my face off on this thing, it's very very time consuming. Anyways, we're basically done. I gotta do just in between these little whatever those are, the fronts of the fenders. Uh, I got around back and there was just a few little spots I wasn't quite happy with, so I did just a few more little dots both sides. While those are drying up uh, or setting up, what I'm going to do is just I got some fine 400 grit. I'm just going to kind of go around the edges of like, you know, the deck lid and the doors, the hood and all that. Just have a nice soft edge so it won't have any, you know, 
hard bits of body filler I might have missed or whatever it may be. And uh, that's pretty much it. The problem I'm running into next, is raining. Like raining, raining. Which is good to get rid of the snow. But my plan was to get this thing out and then clean up the garage, blow it all off, do all that, get it cleaned up as good as I can. Because we're going to paint in here. That's the plan, right? So, I don't know. We'll do a little bit more body work. We'll see if the, uh, the rain lets up or not. But I think by the next time you guys see it, it'll be wiped down. We'll give it a little tack rag. We'll start doing uh, some masking. And realistically, I think we're going to paint it tonight or tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm to the point where I don't think I'm going to make it any better. It's as good as it's going to be if it looks like crap. I'll scuff it up and repaint it down the road or polish it or sand through and it'll look patinaed. One of those things will happen, but I've had enough. Sanding is boring. I'm going to give you an engine low to the ground. Extra big oil pans will cut the wind from underneath you. We put on 30, 40 extra pounds worth of filler. I'm going to give you the best farmer paint job you've ever seen cut the wind right down the road. I'll give you a fuel line that will hold an extra gallon of gas. I'm gonna shave half an inch off you and shape you like a bullet. We're gonna wipe it down, tack rag every square inch of you. We're gonna thin that paint out, thin like water. Lay it on, get it ready for a nice, nice wet sand. Hear me? Well, this old girl here, she's gotten as good as she's gonna get. We got her all smoothed out. I have a pile of cleanup to do, but I think that's a job for tomorrow, I'm telling you. I'm just, the energy levels aren't quite there. It's smooth, it's flat-ish, it's straight-ish. I go back to when I laid down that primer that overall the car did look pretty good. I'm hoping for the best. If it looks terrible, well, I guess we'll have to eat it. It's wet sand, we can polish it, we can do whatever we want to it. And at the end of the day, it'll look just fine in red oxide primer, if that's where it ends up in the summer driving it. But I'm happy with it. I'm excited to see what my skills are and how they have turned out. I think that's where everybody gets a little confused. You gotta do it. You have to fall on your face. You gotta get back up and you gotta carry on. I've worked on a lot of cars. I think I've only painted three real paint jobs in uh, let's say 15 or 20 years. So uh, you gotta start somewhere and this is where we're starting. So hopefully this is uh, the beginning of something new in the channel. We're actually gonna start painting or uh, flat black is cheap, let's be honest. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the channel or enjoyed the video and the channel. Both those go hand in hand. Um, I said it's, it's raining and crappy out. So I'm not doing much more tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to get up early, got the day off, clean the garage, hopefully we can get the car outside, blow everything off, let all the dust settle, wipe the car down, mask the car really, 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 really well, um, take out seats, door panels, all that stuff that I'm worried about getting a little bit of overspray on, and then uh, psych myself up to lay down some color. So, do me a favor, like the channel, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you're back on the next one. Because it's either going to be a win or a fail, but it's going to be red.